uh, if you have any question, please ask us the question so that we can uh, clear your questions. Uh, one more thing that I want to uh, bring your attention to is that once you uh, search about a project and you think that it is a good project to invest in and if, if you if you ask our opinion what we will do we will give you our opinion that what we think about it or if you if we are going to invest in that project or not uh, but after that it will be entirely up to you if you want to invest in, in, in it or not because you also have to do your own research always do your own research whatever we, we will tell you it will not be a financial advice but it will be a, an opinion from us but uh, not a financial advice so you you sh you can do your own research we will tell you our analysis that w what we are doing uh based on that you can you you have to you you can make a decision um i see someone is typing faisal uh maybe he has a question let's let's just wait for him to type or right, it's still typing uh, luna well it did not get hacked as i said as I said, that blockchain cannot be hacked. Hack. The blockchain has high security and it cannot be hacked really easily. Uh, unless the hacker that alters a particular block in a blockchain, he, he, he also has to recalculate the hash of all of the following blocks. I mean, this is a, a bit more techni technical topic, but uh, with Luna, what happened with Luna is that uh, there was a pegging attack to their stable coin. So uh, the way their, their, blo their blockchain works, the way their uh, algorithm works is that whenever the, uh, their stable coin, that UST, it goes down, they, they start uh, minting Luna coin, more Luna coin and burning it in order to bring back the, uh, the price of their stable coin UST back to one dollar and that was a flawed system uh, because as soon as uh, too much uh, dumping of Luna coin coin happened I mean uh, and then there was too much minting of uh, 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 Luna coin uh, then I mean it, it it just could not it just could not come back it just could not recover from it they had to like uh, their algorithm they had to uh, stop their blockchain they had to stop their blockchain uh, and they could not rec recover from it they had to stop it uh, to not minting more uh, more more coins so the so the so the algorithm stops stops creating more luna coins but at the moment it still has 65 trillion <laughs> uh, coins uh, no 6 trillion not 65 but 6 trillion coins it's from 3 billion to 6 trillion it's a lot um, but the price has gone a, a bit up so security wise it, it 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 is not really easily hackable it is it has high security compared to web 2 uh, by security i mean it cannot be hacked easily but there are of course uh, flaws in algorithms that can be uh, targeted and and attacked like what happened with luna yeah Great, great. So let's let's move forward. Um, uh, if you have any questions, please type it here. Until now, if you do not understand anything, and I will try to answer. All right, great. Let's move forward. What is proof of history? Uh, proof of history is a consensus algorithm that makes Solana fast. So if you uh, I will post a link uh, shortly after this uh, lecture for you here in general chat and then you can go out and uh, have a look about consensus algorithm. So what blockchains actually mainly work uh, on cons uh, consensus algorithms. So there is proof of work, then there is proof of history, then there is proof of stake. Uh, what proof of history does is proof of history provides you uh, so proof of history provides faster way to confirm a transaction. So proof of history provide uh, uh, proof of history validators in a blockchain can come to a, uh, uh, an agreement that a certain event at a certain amount of time happened, and they do not have to go and look for that even if that happened uh, uh, or not. Like they can just uh, agree on it that it happened. So they are working with time. So that is that is how in in a nutshell that is what proof of proof of history is. But if you want to learn more about it, uh, I will share with you um, a link. There you can find a lot of consensus algorithms uh, that are used in blockchains. 
um, and on to, uh, on which blockchains are built, uh, using which blockchains are built. Uh, so you can uh, learn about it, you can uh, search about it more. And yeah, if you don't understand, like if you so, don't, uh, I'll try to help you uh, if you want to learn more about it. <clears throat> Yes, sure. I will. I will share the link with you after this lecture. Please, uh, uh, please, st yeah, stay here. I will, and I will let you know. Uh, yeah. So that is that is it for today's class.